Uh, hey guys, I'm Luke. I'm Addy. All right, Addy, uh, thanks for coming in today. Uh, help me out with this. Um, so I know we met earlier in the semester, um, and you know, kind of discussed um, your your diet, um, your nutrition, things of that sort. Um, would you kind of explain uh, what we went over earlier in the year? Yeah. So when we first met, we talked about me trying to cut out bread, and then like the second time, I kind of started for a week. And then um, just kind of cut out half a bagel and slowly progressed into having no bread at all and mm -hmm. cutting out carbs. Um, and then I believe it was the next time I fully cut out carbs, as in like bad carbs, as in like the bread and everything, where I still did rice. So I did that throughout Lent. So 40 days, I didn't have bread. Um, it was pretty difficult just because... Like, I, since I eat at my sorority house, it's kind of whatever's provided is provided. Yeah. Um, so it'd be, like, burgers that already had the bread and pasta and stuff like that. So I would only be allowed to have, like, a salad or I would only be allowed to have the potatoes that day or anything of that sort or eggs. So basically it was kind of hard and I feel like I didn't get as full as fast or I would get hungry like soon after I ate, mm -hmm. which then I felt like I was eating more even without the bread. Yeah. So it was okay, but now that I'm back on it, I feel like my options are easier and I can have sandwiches still and still get full off of that. But yeah, after that I think I want to maybe try doing it again once in a while or... I don't know, something of that sort. So did you like, like the results that you got from it then? Were you happy with yeah. what you learned? Yeah, I that? didn't feel as fatigued as I normally was. So like every time I'd wake up in the morning, I wouldn't feel as exhausted or feel like it's harder to get up. And I also felt like kind of having more energy when I was working out also helped. Like I've increased my cardio and increased how long I do work out for. So I feel like that helps. But again, it was the problem of not being as full and eating more. Okay, that's interesting. So you think that the uh, when you're eating no bread, you're more energized then and didn't make you sleepy? Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. um, so what have you been doing lately then since you're back on um, eating bread again? Do you have like a regimen with it or is it just kind of whatever you feel that day? Um, it's kind of whatever I feel that day. Um, the mornings I still haven't been doing a bagel. Instead, I'll do like a yogurt and a granola bar instead. But then... Mm -hmm. For lunch, I usually try to do, like, the healthier options, which would be, like, a sandwich. If I do do bread, it would be, like, the whole wheat. And um, if not, I would just do, like, some sort of salad or um, just, like, the meat in general with mm -hmm. rice. And then sometimes for dinner, I'll do pasta, but I've been doing smaller portions of it. And I don't feel like I eat as much of it when I do do that. But... Yeah, definitely not as much as I was when I started. Okay. And how do you like that now? I like it. It's still kind of like, I feel like I notice it maybe when I'm like throughout the day, like at three o'clock, I feel really exhausted, mm -hmm. especially if after I have like a meal full of all carbs. So, and same for dinner, I feel like really tired at like eight o'clock and I'm still have more stuff to do. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. Probably, yeah, well, that sounds really good. Uh, I mean, it sounds like you've been doing well with your diet and you're happy with you seeing what we talked about. Um, so with that, um, was there a reason specifically why you came in today then? Yeah, so I think I might want to go back to doing no bread, but I feel like I also should just cut it out completely like what I did before. So maybe if I could do something like in between there, like I don't know what you would suggest with that. I don't know what you feel like because it seemed like you you were just fine doing no bread completely. So mm -hmm. obviously it sounds like you don't want to go back to eating bread every day. Yeah. So what do you think would be like a healthy medium? What would be good for you? Yeah. So I think maybe if I were to either just cut it out at like say dinner or something every, mm -hmm. every time, or if I did every other day or just like three times a week, I would have bread or four times a week I would have okay. it, but not essentially be like strict to it but if the option is available for me to not have it then I could do okay. that as well okay um so yeah so it definitely sounds like then maybe just trying to cut it out every time mm -hmm. in one specific meal wouldn't work maybe mm -hmm. you could do it you know like you said like three or four times a week eat it that way you mm -hmm. can kind of pick and choose one um, and one yeah what mm -hmm. meal just depending on what your chef is serving that day yeah so does that sound good something yeah. you think you could do yeah I think I could do that okay perfect yeah um, let's do that 
Um, and then did you have any other questions, concerns for me? Yeah, I feel like I also am not getting enough vegetables and fruit in my diet. Um, okay. Just because, one, when I'm living in the dorm, it's hard to keep fruits and vegetables super fresh in, like, the mini fridge. And also, yeah. like I said, the chef, it's kind of like whatever he's serving that day. So I feel like I don't get enough. Okay. Yeah, does your chef, I mean, because, you know, typically in those houses, um, they'll try and serve, like, you know, one serving of vegetables or fruit with every meal. Mm -hmm. Is that not the case with yours, or how does your chef go? So on? for fruit, he only offers it on Fridays um, okay. at lunch, and then um, for dinner sometimes he'll do like a pasta or something like that, and then broccoli on the side. And then we also have a salad bar, but that's kind of like not connected to that part, so it's kind of like not necessarily going out of the way, but I mean it's not like what you think of when you yeah, go yeah. there. So how come, yeah, I mean if he's serving vegetables... Um, with every meal, how come you feel like you're having a, a problem receiving them then? I feel like it's not as much as a variety of what I'd want, and I mainly eat more fruit than I do vegetables, and mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes if the vegetables are, like, included in the meats and stuff like that, like, he'll put spinach on top of it, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm getting my vegetables, but I don't mm -hmm. know if it's, like, the correct serving that I should be having. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so... So what do you do normally then? Do you eat them with every meal? Do you kind of... I would vary? probably say like every other day I would do a salad. It would be okay. just like a small side one as well, like next okay. to the meats and rice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so do you do that with like lunch and dinner? How do you go about it? Yeah, I usually either do lunch and dinner or just like dinner sometimes. If I don't like okay. what's available for me, I'll just do like um, the spinach and just like a ranch dressing on top of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that sounds sounds good. I mean, I, I have some suggestions that I could make to you if you'd like me to share them with you. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I mean, you know, so a lot of times we're going to strive to have like four or five cups of vegetables a day. Mm -hmm. um, so at the dinner time, it sounds like you're doing well with eating if there's asparagus or mm -hmm. broccoli, things of that sort available to you. Um, so keep doing that. Um, and, you know, if you don't like that, I would definitely suggest, you know, eating the salad. Because mm -hmm. um, also, you know, with that salad, um, not only is it going to be really healthy for you, uh, but also that fiber, like you said, how you're not feeling as full. Mm -hmm. um, the fiber is going to help you feel a lot more full as well. Okay. Um, without eating, you know, a bunch of carbs mm -hmm. and things of that sort to fill you up. Um, so I would definitely suggest, um, you know, trying just different salads. Mm -hmm. um, and also going about continuing to eat um, the greens available at dinner. Um, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I feel like I could do that for sure. I think um, maybe like one plan of action I would have was be doing the salads first and mm -hmm. then going to the other meals and seeing like how full I am after and then including okay. like maybe the meat in the salad with that. Okay. Is there any like salads you specifically like that you can see yourself eating on a daily basis? Yeah, I really like Caesar salads and then also just like ranch as well. And then I really like just Italian dressing or balsamic mm -hmm. dressing that I can do on that too. But it's kind of like whatever he puts out that day yeah. so but I mean I also could buy like my own dressing and bring it or leave it there as well so okay. that way it would increase my intake mm -hmm. of the salad by having the options I'd like there yeah that sounds really good mm -hmm. um so what do you want to do moving forward then with that um so I think I will get the salads first maybe like lunch every day okay. or like switch off at least have it either for lunch or dinner one day mm -hmm. and then have kind of like whatever is available and I think that would also help me with my carbs as well if I were to just do the salad with the meat in it and then like at dinner I would have the sandwich and stuff like that okay mm -hmm. yeah perfect sounds awesome um and then what have you been doing then for the fruit because you mentioned you haven't been having fruit as of lately yeah so I usually have it on Friday when it's available I'll kind of do like a fruit salad type of thing that I'll make mm -hmm. and then um the other days I will probably just have like an apple or a banana but I would say that's like on rare occasions if okay. I do get it does the house do they offer that to you like apples and bananas no or? they don't yeah it's just like those days and sometimes on the salad bar they'll offer like clementines like peeled and mm -hmm. so when they do do that I'll just like take it in a cup to go and have that as my dessert okay but it's not really like an everyday, like a variety I could have. Okay. Yeah. yeah I mean, have you tried going to the store, um, you know, buying them, things like that, or kind of... Yeah, I, I do do that, but it's, like, hard with the not enough light in the dorm and, like, keeping it good. Okay. So, I mean, like I said, I'll have maybe an apple, like, once a week or twice a week or okay. bananas, but that's kind of, like, the extent of what I have for okay. fruit. 
Yeah, I mean, if it's, you know, if the house isn't offering it to you and you mm -hmm. feel like it goes bad in your dorm, um, how do you feel like you should go about receiving them then? Or would it be an easier way for you? I mean, I'm either, one, going to have to eat the fruit faster so it doesn't go bad, mm -hmm. or, um, yeah, I think that's my only option. Yeah, I mean, I could kind of, <laughs> I have some suggestions, like, things that I do. Cause, yeah. Like, you know, I was in that situation. Yeah, I mean, like, you know... Um, what I like to do is just like every Tuesday at Fry's, mm -hmm. um, they have like 10 percent off for students. So mm -hmm. I just kind of try to make it a habit of going every single Tuesday to buy my fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. That way I'm on top of it. And even if they are going bad, I just know, oh, next Tuesday I'm going to buy them. They're going to be on sale. Mm -hmm. I'll get them. Then even if I don't finish them, I, you know, I didn't pay that much for them. So yeah, it's fine. at least you have them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so do you have your card down here? Like, how would you feel about that? Yeah, I have my card down here. So I could just also run down to fries and do that. And I could probably mm -hmm. buy them in smaller quantities as well. Maybe only mm -hmm. buy like two apples for that day and then go every week and do that. Or yeah. buy like the little halos and get those as well. Mm -hmm. And maybe just have those as snacks in mm -hmm. between like my lunch and dinner. Yeah. Yeah, no, you know, another good thing with the fruits too is it's really easy if you just eat them for breakfast or things mm -hmm. of that sort. Um, like with apples, they're gonna help wake you up. Mm -hmm. The citrus as well. Um, so you know, if you could just make it, I don't know. I'm um, just trying to like, eat like a, a fruit in the morning for your mm -hmm. breakfast. You know, not only is it gonna, you know, make you feel more full because like I said, it has all that fiber in it, mm -hmm. um, but also. I'm just gonna wake you up in the morning mm -hmm. as well, which will help. Yeah, which will be nice. Yeah. Um, so how do you feel about that? Yeah, I think I could do that. Maybe instead of like the granola bar in the morning, I could do like a yogurt and the apple or maybe do like bananas and my oatmeal or something like that to incorporate mm -hmm. it in there. Yeah. And is there any places on campus that sell fruits are you aware of? Um, I'm pretty sure Highland Market does. Okay. But yeah, I think that they have like the limited variety too. Okay. But I mean, like you said, I could go to Fry's and do that as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, perfect. Um, so what do you think should be a goal then moving forward for yourself? Yeah, I think I should probably go every Tuesday or at least make a plan to go at least once a week and get fresh fruit and then have that maybe like every morning for breakfast instead or at least have that for a snack in between my meals if I'm not feeling as full okay. in between. Yeah, perfect. So do you kind of want to summarize then what we talked about, um, you know, with um, the bread and then also with the fruits and vegetables yeah so with the bread I think I'm only going to do either three to four times a week depending on how I'm feeling that week of either the, like the no bread that day or having like bread but also in small quantities mm. of that and for the fruit I think I will just want to do that for breakfast and then at least go once a week and buy in smaller quantities of the fruit mm -hmm. and then for the vegetables as well maybe getting like salad for lunch or dinner that day and doing that first and then going to see what the other meal is and then eating that if I don't feel as full after my salad yeah yeah perfect that sounds awesome mm -hmm. um you know, like I said you know you were really on top of it um mm -hmm. for Lent when you go with the bread mm -hmm. um so I'm sure the changes you know to your diet are going to be really easy for you mm -hmm. um from what I can tell you're really disciplined mm -hmm. um so other than that did you have any other questions or concerns for me yeah so actually since um finals week is coming up or I don't know if it's just like because at the end of the year I feel like I'm not getting as much sleep okay. and even when I'm getting like the seven to eight hours I feel still super tired the next morning and like throughout the day kind of and I kind okay. of hit a wall throughout the day and I don't know like what I can do to make that better yeah so kind of give me a rundown of what your schedule looks like to a normal work day for you yeah so usually like Mondays through Thursdays I go to class from 9 to 3 with like an hour or two break in between there for lunch okay. and on Fridays I go from 11 to 2 okay. so mainly like on the Monday through Tuesday or Thursdays as well I feel like I'm kind of going to class and kind of bouncing around campus and then when, when I'm finished with that I feel like I still do homework or sometimes I like mess around and I'm just like oh like want to go walk around with my friends on campus or mm -hmm. go shopping or just get distracted by right. tv yeah so so you know like you said you have class from nine to three most days so mm -hmm. what do you normally do then um with that you know the chunk of time off before you go to bed mm -hmm. um what are you doing yeah Is so it? most of the time like before I go to bed is when I do the homework because after I finish my classes I'm kind of like oh I just did classes for a super long time I need like okay. a break yeah. so I feel like I'm always doing my homework between mm -hmm. like 8 till like 11 or 12 when I go to bed okay. and then waking up around like 7 30 in those mornings okay mm -hmm. yeah um I mean have you ever tried 
um, you know, maybe doing your homework then just right after your classes. That way it kind of gives you some time to unwind at mm -hmm. night. Have you ever tried doing that? Um, I have a couple of times, but I mean, like, I, it's also when I'm disciplined enough to do it because I feel like mm -hmm. it's just a long time to do school. But yeah. every time I do do that, I get done between, like, 9 or 10, which I feel like might help, especially if I'm just in bed or just, yeah. like, hanging out on the couch mm -hmm. or something. Okay. Yeah, so so you said you're normally up to 11 or 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Are you normally doing homework all the way up until that time? Mm -hmm. Or do you kind of like give yourself some time to relax before bed? Or how do you go about it? Yeah, so most of the time it is when I'm doing homework all the way up until then. So say like if I finished homework at 11, then I would probably like get ready and like be in bed by 11.15. Mm -hmm. And then only like go on my phone for like five minutes and then go to bed okay. right after that. So I mean, it's not a lot of downtime in between then. Mm -hmm. But I feel like maybe I can increase it more, but I also don't want to do that because then I'd be staying up longer than I'm supposed yeah. to, so. I mean, so how do you think you go about giving yourself some energy throughout the day then? Um, maybe napping, but every time I try to do that, it's like I lay down and that's when I get energy to actually do that. But okay. then like when I'm up and then an hour or two later, okay. I still feel tired, but. Yeah, so you mentioned that you've been doing... Um, some cardio you mm -hmm. think when do you work out throughout the day or how do you go about that yeah I usually do that in the mornings if I do do it and I feel like also since I've increased like how long I've been working out that also might be a factor because my body isn't used to that so mm -hmm. I do cardio between like 30 to 45 minutes when I do work out so I feel like that also might be a factor what's weighing into like how exhausted I am like halfway through the day okay yeah I mean I kind of have uh maybe some distance I can make to you would that be okay yeah of course yeah, um, so, you know, um, well, actually, like, the literature shows that if you are working out on a daily mm -hmm. basis, that your body's going to be more energized. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, even if you are working out a lot, um, I wouldn't be as concerned with that making you as tired. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's going to be that break between, you know, maybe when you have school, then you take some time off, mm -hmm. and then you go back to, you know, working. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's what's causing the issue there. If you could, you know, go from classes um, you know, just study there mm -hmm. as, as the material is fresh in your mind, um, and then kind of give yourself some down time before you go to sleep. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's going to be, you know, that's going to have a lot of changes um, on how you feel throughout the day. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I feel like I could do that. Maybe, like, decrease my time in between there. So maybe, like, after my classes, like, I go eat then, and then, or, like, go do something that's a little bit of a break in between and then go like to the library or go to yeah. like the study room and then mm -hmm. do that for four hours and then like go home and then yeah. do a snack and hey, you know that sleep. way your mind's not just constantly working mm -hmm. working working up until right when you go to bed you want to kind of give it some time you know to relax unwind yeah. things like that before you go to sleep mm -hmm. um that way you have a deeper sleep um then also when you wake up you're gonna feel more refreshed yeah perfect um, so does that seem like something reasonable you could go about doing? Yeah, I feel like I could do that for sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Um, so what do you think should be a goal then for you with that moving forward? Yeah, so on like my Monday, Thursday, since those are days I kind of wake up earlier, then I'll probably just like right after class and just come straight to the library or like get a mm -hmm. coffee or something and then just start working on homework for as long as I can or as long as I need to and then go home kind of relax maybe like look it over again at like eight and then just like watch tv like lay in bed like do something else to get my mind off of school and then mm -hmm. maybe my sleep will be better not feel as tired in the morning perfect perfect yeah yeah so then um uh, before we wrap things up here do you just kind of want to summarize everything we've talked about today and your goals moving forward yeah so um again starting for my bread thing i think i will just switch to three to four days of eating bread or to not eat bread mm -hmm. and then um when i do like maybe still decrease my portion size is kind of what i've been doing now um for my fruits still go at least once a week and then get the fruits um, decrease how much I get that way maybe it stays fresher um, and still eat the ones that's provided for me on the Fridays and then for the vegetables um, get at least a salad for lunch or dinner and then um, then go back and see what I have provided by the chef mm -hmm. and then incorporate like something like that in my salad and then for my sleep do my studying right after my classes and then um as soon as i'm finished with that then relax and unwind yeah. perfect what about uh the fruit 
Yeah, the fruit I would uh, go once a week and um, get the fruit, buy less quantities of the fruit, and then still eat what's provided for me on the Fridays with the fruit salad and everything like that, and then um, eat that for breakfast um, when I get the fruit, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, well, it sounds really good to me. Like I said, you know, I'm not, I'm not worried about you just because you have so, you just know how disciplined you are mm-hmm. um, with your diet, um, your workout regimen, and also your studying, your schoolwork. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think these goals are really obtainable for you. Mm-hmm. Um, they're going to make, you know, help you make some really good changes in your life. Um, do you have any other questions or concerns for me today? Um, I think that's it. That's it? Yeah. All right, perfect. Yeah, um, sounds awesome. Um, I think maybe if you'd like, we can meet again in a month or two, um, go through some things you want to talk about. Um, and also, if you have questions in the future, um, this is just uh, a resource here at the U of A, mm-hmm. um, health resources. That oh, perfect. Thank Arizona. you. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to talk to any other health professional to get up with your diet. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if you just want to talk about school, also your sleep, things like that, um, just people here that would love to help you out. Perfect. Thank you um, so much. Thanks. Thank you so much. Yeah.